Hi and welcome back. In this video I'm going to explain you what is Aircrack NG packet injection and how to put your wireless card into monitor mode. First of all Aircrack NG is not a single tool but rather a suite of tools for manipulating and cracking Wi-Fi networks. The NG stands for new generation. During the course we will cover these tools. Now let's see what is packet injection. Packet injection allows to intercept and manipulate network communication. A good example is sending the out packets to a network client and disconnecting him from the router. To really be effective at wireless hacking, you need a wireless adapter that is capable of packet injection and monitor mode. The best supported and recommended USB wireless adapter for Kali Linux is Alpha AWUS036. This adapter has good sensitivity and can find hotspots that are far or weak in signal strength. To test my Wi-Fi adapter for packet injection, I will switch to my Kali machine and type the following command. Airplay NG-9 and the name of my wireless interface. As you can see my injection is working. Now let's put my wireless card into monitor mode using the following command. Airmon NG start WLAN 0. And here you will see some processes that could cause trouble. Use Airmon NG check kill. This command will stop all the interfering processes. To check that your interface is in monitor mode, you can use iwconfig. This mode will sniff the packets in the air without connecting with any access point, which means that my wireless card can hook up with anyone. How to find hidden SSID networks around you. First you need to put your wireless card into monitor mode using Airmon NG. Now type Aerodump NG WLAN 0 MON to list the wireless networks around you. Any wireless network that is hidden should show up as the name length. Once you found the network that you are looking to find the hidden SSID, use Ctrl plus C to stop the scan. So this one right here is my network. And you can see that the SSID is hidden. Now I will need a few details about my network. Like its MAC address and the channel that it's using. So go ahead and type the following command. Aerodump NG channel 6 and the BSSID of the network you are targeting. In order to bypass the hidden SSID you need to wait for a client to connect to the access point. But waiting for a client to connect can take hours, even days. So a better way is to force clients to disconnect and reconnect using the following command. Airplay NG-0 and the number of packets and then the BSSID of the access point you are targeting. Once a client tries to connect to the access point, they exchange probe request and probe response packets. These packets contain the SSID of the access point. As these packets are not encrypted, they can be very easily sniffed from the air and the SSID can be found. How to spoof your MAC address. But to understand how MAC spoofing works, you need to know what a MAC address is. A MAC address is also called a media access control and it is a unique ID number that is given to your network adapter. In simple terms it is a serial number and it cannot be changed forever. MAC spoofing is a technique for changing the MAC address that your network interface appears to have. This change is temporary and cannot be permanently. Now why would you want to spoof a MAC address? There are places where you go get the Wi-Fi password but can't access the network because they activated MAC filtering. So spoofing your MAC address can help you access the network. 
there are also companies which tracks users by recording the MAC addresses. So spoofing can save you from that as well. For Kali Linux, there is a built-in program called Mac Changer, which I will demonstrating. So before you change your MAC address using Mac Changer, it's always a good idea to bring your network adapter down. This can be done using the following command ifconfig wlan0 down. And now in one single line type macchanger r wlan0. Now this r here is just going to say give me any random MAC address. As shown on the screen, macchanger will show you the current, permanent, and changed MAC address. The permanent MAC address will be restored to your network adapter after a reboot. You can also spoof a specific MAC address using the following command. macchanger-m and here type your new MAC address. Now use the following command to bring up your network adapter. ifconfig wlan0 up. And to check your new Mac, just type ifconfig wlan0. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.